everyone! In today's video, I'll be taking this frozen Elsa and Anna bag and changing it into a Told You Wood themed bag from Alice in Wonderland. Told you Wood. I originally got this bag from Box Lunch during Box Lunch redemption period, so instead of paying around $70 for it, I think it cost me around $35. I knew this bag would be perfect for this project because the characters are fairly large, a flat face bag is ideal. It's funny because there's so much more in Alice in Wonderland than just told you would, but it's what stands out to me the most. I love this part of the movie so much and it's just a snippet in the whole thing. As a refresher for anyone who might not have watched Alice in Wonderland in quite a bit of time, the Told You Would Forest scene happens right after the Mad Tea Party. The Mad Hatter and the March Hare basically fling the White Rabbit out of their tea party and Alice goes and chases after him. No, Mr. Rabbit! Oh, Mr. Rabbit! And of course, Wonderland being Wonderland, there's a bunch of pathways, so the one that Alice goes to leads to the Told You Would Forest. The whole vibe just changes. It kind of gets a little dark, but yet the colors are saturated. It's a very mysterious vibe and the first creature she comes upon are i'm just gonna call them bird glasses i don't know what they're called and she looks into the bird mirror let me see oh and i love this little image of her looking at herself in the mirror while she's wearing the glasses so much so that i actually bought a pin from box lunch i really would like to put it on this backpack where should I put it? I have no idea. I don't know if it clashes. I need someone's opinion. Please let me know in the comments below. The next creature she meets are those purple horn ducks and she accidentally steps on one. The mom freaks out. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> this scene is also super cute and I feel like this would almost be a DIY project. Do you think if I got a horn, I could actually make one of these things? I might want to try that. Next up, we briefly meet the drum frog and the cymbal frog. I am completely making up these names. I don't know what they're officially called, if they have official names or not, but they just kind of hop on by on lily pads. And then Alice comes across the umbrella birds. I believe they were bathing, and honestly, no matter what she does, she just seems to be pissing off these creatures. Following that, we get to see the shovel bird. There's a lot of birds. That's what I'm just realizing. There is a ton of birds in Told You Would Forest. Yeah, after the shovel bird, there is the cage bird with the love birds inside of them. And then there's the owl, which is still a bird. He's got an accordion for a neck. After that is one of my favorite parts where you have the hammer bird and the pencil bird and they're putting up the signs that say don't step on the mome rats. Don't step on the mome rats. And these mome rats, I don't know what it is. They gave me McDonald's vibe. Is that weird? Like, I don't know if it's a McDonald's toy or McDonald's french fries, but when I look at mome rats, I just think McDonald's. So yeah, these mome rats form into an arrow and she finally thinks she's on the right path. And then she comes across that broom dog <laughs> and he's just sweeping it all away. He's like, yep. He goes, your hopes and dreams of getting out of here, gone. Sweep, 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 sweep. With that, Alice feels hopeless. She starts cry singing, sing crying, how are you gonna look at it? And then the creatures start crying. What I don't get is the creatures then disappear, like they just fade. <laughs> Someone explain that to me, cause it always made me sad. I'm like, why? Why are they disappearing? Do they vanish because she's just done with their nonsense and they feel bad? Do they feel bad for her? I have no idea. But after that, the Cheshire Cat appears, so on and so forth. Now, if you notice, I don't include Alice on here on the print. I don't include the Cheshire Cat. They have so many bags that I just really wanted to highlight these underrated characters. And another thing you might notice is the bread and butterflies. They aren't technically a part of Told You Would Forest, but I just love them so much. They go with the theme. So I had to make sure they made an appearance on this fabric. Overall, I really think Alex from K&A Custom Fabrics did a great job of Hearing the design concept that I wanted and then executing into a fabric, I think the background flowers she pulled into it, everything 10 out of 10, I absolutely love this. And I did speak with Alex to see when this fabric and the Wild Flowers fabric would be available for general purchase. She said around January, February, because they have the other collections that they have to release first, like the Christmas collection and like the horror for Halloween collection, stuff like that. So whenever it does become available though, I'll definitely make an announcement or a community post so you guys are aware. 
And as most of you know, I've already done a custom wallet giveaway using the Wild Flowers fabric. I do plan on doing a future giveaway for a custom wallet using this Told You Wood fabric, so stay tuned for that. And now without further ado, let's check out the finished result for our custom Told You Wood Lounge Fly backpack. And here it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For me, I think it came out exactly how I imagined it. I love the colors, the concept, just everything. Don't forget I have that pin. Should I put it on? Should I leave it off? Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.